the Good Morning Britain host famously mocked Daniel Craig, 50, for carrying his baby in a papoose. Piers Morgan has claimed Meghan Markle, 37, will insist her royal baby is gender fluid and force Prince Harry, 34, to wear a papoose in a bizarre forecast of the year ahead. Writing for the Mail, the outspoken TV host predicted the couple's first aunt, who is due in the spring, will be born on April 1st, aka April Fool's Day. Piers, 53, added, in a sharp break from royal tradition, Meghan, declares her new rival is gender fluid and will be known as both Oprah and Oliver. Meghan also confirms she wishes to be known as a co-parent rather than mother, and orders Prince Harry to wear a papoose 24-7 to expunge the last toxins of masculinity from his poor emasculated soul. The last prediction is a reference Piers Papoosegate, when he labeled Daniel Craig, 50, an emasculated bond for going out with his newborn daughter strapped to his chest back in October. Celebs including Captain America star Chris Evans were quick to rush to his defense. The baby, who was born in September, was Daniel's first with actress wife Rachel Weisz, 48. It's fair to say Piers isn't Meghan's biggest fan. Earlier this month, he accused the Duchess of Sussex of ghosting him and sacking him like a sack of spuds after meeting someone more important. Labeling the new royal a piece of work, he added, Everything I've seen since does slightly smack of an actress, a Hollywood actress, seizing her chance and acting her way to the top. He also claimed her May royal wedding, at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, smacked of ruthless social climbing and had been hijacked by Hollywood stars. Piers added, how can you justify having none of your family at your own marriage when you're filling the church with famous people whom you've known for a fraction of the time? He previously said the tot would be a gender-fluent vegan on Good Morning Britain, which he co-hosts with Susanna Reid, 48. In more royal baby news, bookies have slashed the odds on Meghan giving birth in February, after the Duchess hinted she is nearly there with pregnancy.